All right, today I'm going to show you how to um, deal with bloat on your Galaxy Note 3 Verizon Edition. Technically, this will work on any carrier, um, but I'm just going to show you a couple good ways to deal with bloat on your device. Stuff that you just don't want to have on your phone, basically. Um, so I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. Now, one way requires root access, and another way just requires knowing how to do it in some settings. So I'm going to show you both ways in today's video, like I said, on the Galaxy Note 3. So first, I'm going to show you guys the way of doing this and dealing with bloat on your device um, just through your settings. This doesn't require root access. It doesn't require any of that stuff. So what I like to do is just scroll over here. This is Application Manager and scroll over to Running. Um, so basically what I like to do is come in here every so often and see what's running on my device. Um, you can see some things that are running and you can say maybe these are things I don't want running. So for example, Verizon Voicemail, I don't use that application, I don't need that application, but it's constantly pretty much running all the time. Uh, caller Name ID, also again, I don't want that running. I don't want it running, I don't want to use it. So there's two applications right there, Verizon Voice and Caller Name ID that run pretty much all the time and I don't want them. So what we can do is we can come over here to, see this says turned off, so you can see I've already turned one off, and that's what we're going to do here. So all you got to do is go to the application, so we're going to that caller ID application, I already passed it here, there it is, and we're going to click on it, and then you just got to basically do turn off and it says it's going to turn it off. It could cause errors with other applications, but uh, I know this one for sure will not um, because a lot of applications, you know, coexist with each other and kind of link to each other. So that's going to go ahead and turn off, and you can see it should be in my turn off list. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for that voicemail application. And where is it at here? Voicemail right there. I really don't want it running either. And so now this one, let's see, force stop, it doesn't even give you the functionality to turn off. Now I don't want it running, so how do we get that turned off? Well, let me show you. Because I showed you the one way, and if they have options to turn them off, you can turn them off that way. And I think, see caller ID should not be in here. Yep. And that, let's see, yeah, so caller ID was up here, and that VZ nav was up here and now those icons are gone by turning it off. So it doesn't actually delete the application but it gets it off your screens and it gets it from using up your processing power and RAM. So that's the importance of it and the great thing with turning it off is if you ever take an OTA update it's still there and the update will take. If you delete it with this other method then you're going to have issues by taking an OTA update. So. The next method is with Titan Backups. I'm sure some, a lot of you guys have seen this uh, application. So it's a root application, and I'm just installing it right now. And said OK. First time I'm booting into it, OK. And we're going to go to Backup and Restores. Dismiss. And we're going to go down to where it says that VZ or Verizon. Uh, see now look, you can actually already see that this one is actually already frozen. It even shows up with that line through it. So here's a voicemail and what I like to do is just do really quick a backup of it and you get a backup and then once you have a backup you click on it again and you can delete it right here. I don't recommend that just because you're not worried too much about space. This thing it has got 32 gigs of space. This little app is taking up like nothing. So what I like to do is go ahead and hit freeze and the application should be frozen. And by freezing is the same thing as turning it off in the other settings. So if we go back over here, there's no voicemail anymore. Um, so those are the two ways of dealing with this. Like I said, you can delete it with Titan backups, but then if you want to take an OTA update or something like that, it's if it's not there, the update's gonna fail. So at this point, if you froze something in Titan backups, before you take an OTA update, you need to click on it again, say defrost, and defrost anything you've frozen, and then an OTA update will work again on the device. Um, so like I said, this is a root access way. The other way is through system settings. 
So there's two ways to deal with it and it really cleans up your app drawer and even your running processes which we'll show you back in here again applications manager and right there running so you come down to the bottom there you go you can see that those things are not running anymore not using up RAM or operating uh, processing power and actually you can even see that I even froze voicemail it says turned off even though I couldn't do it through the settings physically here I did it through Titan Backos by freezing it so very cool um, so there you go that's it if you want to clean up your device, your Galaxy Note 3, and get it running a little bit faster, a little bit better, uh, that's how to do it. That's the easy way to do it. So, hope you guys like this video on the Note 3. Uh, stay tuned for more videos like this and great information on this device as development happens on it. As always, please check me out at RootJunkie.com or Facebook or Twitter on the other side. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Root Junkie out.